What it do, hustlers? It's your boy, Drell here, coming at you with another video today. And in this video right here, I want to talk about how I gained 50,000 followers in under three months on Instagram, man. I'm going to give you guys the ins and outs of the whole process so that you can go out and do it yourself. Before we get down to business, though, I just want to say we out in nature with it today. We out in nature, as you can see. Hey, I want to show you guys the sun. It's out today. It's out today. We out in nature with it today. Make sure that you hit the like button as well and subscribe to the channel if you're new. This channel is all about entrepreneurship, making money online, and just helping the black community in general because we don't have too many channels actually giving us information like this, especially when I was first coming up. Like, I had to figure everything out the hard way, so I just want to be that person that I needed when I was growing up. But now that we got that out the way, let's get right into this video. All right, so step number one to growing your page is actually knowing your audience, man. It sounds simple, but it's extremely important. So I'm about to pull up my page so that you guys can see, like, you got to have a clear vision for your page. Like, when people come to your page, they got to know what your page is about. And when you're posting on your page, you want to have a clear thing for your page as well. Like, you don't want to be posting fitness content with entrepreneur content or, like, fitness content with spirituality content you get it so i'm about to pull up my page right now so that you guys can get a clear example of what i mean by knowing your audience all right so as you can see i'm on my page right now and as you can see man we have 52.3k and it's still under three months that's insane man that's insane growth i've never had a page grow this fast and i'm about to tell you guys how it actually grew so fast in just a second but like I said, knowing your audience. So as you can see, when you come to my page, you automatically know what my page is about. As you can see at the top, it says business, investing, and life. Business, investing, and life. So all my posts is related to business, investing, and life, right? So, and then in the bio, it just says created by me and then for entrepreneurs. So I'm targeting entrepreneurs. That's my audience, entrepreneurs and Black entrepreneurs in particular, because as you can see, the name is Black Hustlers Club. In it. Oh, I got one more thing to show y'all, man. I got I got some samples coming. I got some merch coming. This is just a sample, though. I had messed up on the sample because, as you can see, the logo is a little too high. So when the merch officially dropped, it's going to be a little lower. But this is just a sample. And it's going to have more designs and everything like that. I just messed up on the sample. But that's just a sneak peek of what's coming. But... As you can see, hustlers only, and then watch this. That's linking to my YouTube channel. Now, if we scroll down on the page, everything is related to business, investing, life, entrepreneurship, making money, hustling, all of that stuff, man. All of that stuff. So, if you you're into that kind of stuff, chances are you're actually um, follow my page and everything like that. So that's what I mean by knowing your audience. You want to post things related to. The people that you're trying to target so let's say you're a fitness coach right you want to post things related to fitness only you don't want to be posting things related to spirituality like i said earlier or making money online or anything like that you just want to keep it strictly for fitness fitness only or even if you have a fitness youtube channel you just want to post fitness content and that's it you just want to post content that your audience wants to see so what you want to do is you want to think about who is your target audience how old are they what do they like to do? What type of photos they like? What type of videos they watch? Everything like that. You want to think about your ideal customer and just make content for them. The second tip I have for you guys is posting consistently, man. There's no excuses, man. There's no excuses. You can post a photo on Instagram in like a minute or two. So you can post every day, man. I see this all the time where people post like once every three days on Instagram, once a week on Instagram, and that's just not going to cut it. If you want to grow fast, post consistently. Like you see on my page, I be posting a couple times a day, at least three times a day, at least three times a day. I usually post about five to six times a day, but if you want to grow fast, post consistently. At least post once a day, man. You can post once a day. Even if you got to wake up five minutes earlier to post that photo on Instagram, you could do that, man. Post every single day on Instagram. And if you want to grow faster on Instagram, you got to be posting three, four times a day, five times a day, six times a day. However many posts that you can make on Instagram, do that because you'll grow way faster. And when you're posting on Instagram, right? What you want to do is you want to add hashtags to your post. So if you add hashtags to your post, 
your post will get seen by more people. I'm going to actually pull up my phone right now and I'm going to give you guys an example of how hashtags actually help you grow faster on Instagram and help you get seen by more people. All right, so I got my account pulled up again. I'm going to just take you guys through a couple photos so that you can see the effect that hashtags actually have. If you're not using hashtags, man, you're way behind the game. So let's actually take a look at a couple photos, right? So this one I posted yesterday. Let's actually go to view insights so that you can see. And as you can see, it got 13,000 impressions on it, right? And 9,000 came from the home page. That's just the people that actually follow me. And then hashtags, it's at 3,900, man. 3,900 impressions from hashtags. Let's actually take a look at another photo real quick. Another photo. This one I got over 2,000 likes on. Let's go to view insights for this one. And you can see it got 27 follows. 34,000 impressions, man. 34,000 impressions. And then, as you can see at the top, hashtags. Hashtags is number one with 11,724 impressions. That just goes to show you hashtags are extremely, extremely important. It helps you get seen by people that actually aren't following you, right? The homepage is people that are following you, and then the hashtags help you get seen by people that aren't following you. So, let's actually take a look at one more photo real quick. Let's look at this one real quick. This one got 1,900 likes on it. And we can see homepage is number one again with 9,000. And then hashtags, 6,700 impressions from hashtags again. So you can see that hashtags help you get seen by thousands and thousands of people that aren't even following you, man. So if you combine that with posting every single day, if you post five times a day, right, and then your hashtags generate you about 5,000 impressions, right, that's 25,000 new people every single day that's viewing your account. And you can see why my account grew so fast. And I just want to say thank you as well for following the account and um, helping me grow the account as well. So if you aren't following me on Instagram on the Black Hustlers Club account, go follow me, man. Just hit the follow button. It only takes about five seconds. And also subscribe to the channel. But I just want to say, like, if you post in five times a day and you're getting 5,000 impressions from hashtags, those are people that aren't following you yet. That's 25,000 new people coming to your account every single day. So posting every single day and hashtags are extremely, extremely important when you're trying to grow your page. Tip number three that I have for you guys to help you guys grow on Instagram faster is building a community, man. Building a community on other platforms as well as Instagram, right? So you guys see me on YouTube, right? This YouTube channel is helping my Instagram account grow. And what I mean by building a community is actually interacting with your followers, caring about their needs, helping them out, providing value to them, right? Yo, I just got saved. This sun is hitting, boy. Woo. <laughs> Yo. This sun is hit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> listen, listen, don't mind me. I'm a little slow sometimes. But look, back to what I was saying about building your community, right? When you're trying to build your audience, your community, your tribe, um, whatever you want to call it, you want to focus on three things, right? So number one is actually interacting with them. So it's so simple, but so many people don't do it, right? Don't think that you're too good to reply back to comments. It's just a simple heart goes a long way, man. Just liking their comment goes a long way. Replying back to their stories, all of that stuff, just interacting with your subscribers, asking what they want to see from you as well. Just interacting with them. It's so simple, but so many people don't do it. So if you actually do this, if you actually interact with them, you actually reply back to them and you ask them what they want to see from you, you provide value to them. It goes a long way, I'm telling you. So tip number two is add personality to it, right? So you see me, I'm on camera right now on YouTube, making videos for you guys, just providing value as well. And you see my personality through the camera, right? So that's tip number two is add some personality to it. Now, even if you're on Instagram, do your captions. You can add personality through your captions. You don't necessarily have to be on camera. You don't have to show your face. You can add some captions through your stories as well. You can show some behind the scenes and everything like that. So this is where the added personality comes into play. You don't necessarily have to be on camera. You don't necessarily have to show your face. It helps, of course it helps. It goes a long way if you actually do, but you don't have to. You can do it in your captions and in your stories as well. And the third tip that I have for you guys is adding value adding value this is going to top off everything right so you got the interacting with them then you got the personality and if you're adding value as well it's going to top off everything man and you're going to have a loyal 
honest fan base, man. So if you do those three things, adding value is just so simple, right? But so many people don't do it again. Just adding value, man. Just not always trying to sell to your audience, giving them free content as well, and just providing value. So all three of those things are very, very simple to do, but they go a long way when you're trying to build your community. Tip number four that I have for you guys to help you guys grow your Instagram accounts faster, to hit 50K or even like 10K, right? Or even 5K is actually shout outs. Shout outs are extremely, extremely, extremely effective. Like when I first started out, this is exactly what I did, right? I went to some larger pages in my niche and I just paid for some shout outs, man. Now this is gonna range you like, it depends on the size of the page, right? So some pages may charge you $10, some may charge you $20. Some may charge you $30. It depends on the size of the page, like I said. But what you wanna do is you wanna send them a, a post that they can post on their page, right? And then in the caption, it's just gonna be like, um, check out this new page at whatever your page name is. They got some amazing content on there and you will love their content or something like that, right? Something very simple like that for the caption. And I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, you get a bunch of new followers, especially if you go to similar pages in your niche, right? Very, very similar pages posting similar content to yours and you'll get a lot of followers. I'm telling you, like when I first started out, that's exactly what I did. And I got tons, thousands of followers off of that shout out. So if you're new to Instagram, if you got under like a couple thousand followers, do some shout outs. Even if you got some more followers, you can still do shout outs and you can benefit from shout outs. Now, if you don't have the money to pay people, right? Another thing that you can do is you could go to pages that are around your follower account. So if you got 3,000 followers, you can reach out to some other pages around like 3,000 followers as well. And y'all could do shout out for shout out. So this is where y'all both shout each other out and you're not paying anything, right? So on your story, you could just be like follow at that page and on their story, they're gonna do the same thing for you. So it's an even exchange, no robbery right there. If you do with some similar pages that are around your following account. So shout outs, you gotta try shout outs out, man. It helped me grow my page extremely, extremely fast. I don't do shout outs anymore because I, obviously I'm growing organically now. But once you get to about 3,000 followers, you'll start growing organically. But before then, you gotta do some shout outs and it'll help you grow your page way, way faster. But that's all I have for today's video, man. I hope that you found it valuable. I hope that you took something out of this video. If you did, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm dropping videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for you guys. Also, share this video with a friend, man. I know you got someone that's trying to grow their Instagram account. Share this video with them to help them out as well. And I'm out, bro. I'll see you guys in the next video.